Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here. So today we're going to talk about go-getters enjoy their daily routines. So we've been talking about the habits of successful people, right? And daily routines is just the next one that we're going to go into. But everyone, no matter who you are, has some sort of daily routine. I mean, you know, everyone prefers to do one thing before another in the morning and it helps them get set up for the day, right? Well, you should enjoy your daily routine since you're going to be doing it repeatedly every day. And as you're moving along in your daily routine for a while, you can tweak it and that helps ensure that you get a great start or a great end to your day every day. Because sometimes you can look at your daily routine and think, maybe I can change this a little bit and it will just help me that much more, right? So obviously you should enjoy it though. And if you don't enjoy it or if it's not quite helping you get what you want, you might want to make some adjustments until you're happy with the way that your day progresses or ends, right? And I know change is not always easy. It can be hard to make changes, but you know, it's, it's normal, but this is a change you might want to make because this is what's going to help you be more successful because a positive spirit and outlook is key to your success and your routine, what you do in the morning and what you do in the evening, those things can be a big part of your success too. And they don't have to take a lot of time. So for instance, and I, I'm not saying my routine is necessarily good or right, but it works for me. So I'll just give you a little bit about what my routine is because, you know, my, maybe yours might be similar. Maybe it might not be anything like that. And that's totally okay too. But typically for me, so I'm not typically an early riser. I mean, unless I have to be up for something. I mean, I don't sleep all day, but most days I don't get up until 9 or 930 but then I'm up late most nights anyway, too, right? So I guess I'm just not a morning person. You know, I had to be up at 4.30 or 5 every morning, like all of my working life. So now I enjoy waking up when I'm done sleeping. That's one of the benefits of having my own business is I get to wake up when I'm done sleeping. But that being said, you know, sometimes I do have to be up for something. And so if I do have an appointment or something, I'll try to schedule my appointments not too early in the morning because my routine is still very important to me. So even if I, I try to schedule my appointment like at 9 or 10, then I'll get up three hours earlier so I can get my routine done because it's just important to me. Um, so so here's, here's kind of what my mornings look like. So you probably, in case you ever wondered, you're probably like, where is she in the morning? She's never around in the morning. She's not available. Well, now you're going to know. So when I get out of bed, first thing I do is I jump in the shower. I take care of my skincare routine, my hair, and my makeup. All of that's done. First thing, I don't, I mean, you know, I run into the bathroom, go to the bathroom, whatever. I do all of that. And that's like before I do anything, straight into the bathroom. So I typically don't get dressed at that point. I just pull on my sweats and my T-shirt, and I'm comfortable for the day. And I'm usually working at home anyway. But that's my morning, every routine. I mean, that's my every morning routine without fail. And it works for me because later in the day, if I want to go out, all I have to do is pull some clothes on. My makeup's done, my hair's done, everything's done. Or even if I don't go out of the house, I don't have to worry about, oh gosh, I should probably go take a shower, right? Because it's all done first thing in the morning and it's not something that's in the way of anything else. Um, but then my, my routine continues. So I figure out <laughs> and kind of write out what I'm going to talk about on my Facebook Live, and I get that ready to go. That's like as soon as I get out of the shower, I get you know all of that done, I put my sweats on, I come to my office, I turn on my computer, and, and I don't look at anything. I go straight for my life. I figure out, I write out what I'm going to talk about, get that ready to go. You know, <laughs> originally my Facebook Lives were a way to connect with my audience and to let you know about me, who I am, and all of that. And video is the best way to connect with each other. But as time went by, I ran out of things to talk about. I mean, you know, I can only talk about myself so much. I can only tell you the stories about my childhood so much. I mean, before you're like, well, I've heard that already, you know. So it kind of morphed into me sharing success tips and ideas. And then I found that my audience actually loves this. Um, and and Really, it's my personal development time. So then I do my personal development, and then I share with you what I'm learning. And then I go downstairs, get my breakfast and my coffee, and then I come back. And I'm, and, and while I'm doing that, I'm still kind of mulling in my mind what I'm going to talk about on my life. I've kind of already written it out, but, you know, I kind of get it 
in my mind. And then I come back up and I go live. So then I share my lives on YouTube and Instagram. And then I go straight into my follow-ups that I need to do for that day because that's, those are important to me. That's my daily routine. I stick to it without fail. Like I said, if I have to be somewhere, if I have to make an appointment, I'll get up three hours earlier to make sure all of that's done before I go. But nothing gets in the way of me doing these things. I don't even look at my phone or my email because I know <clears throat> that if I don't do all of these things first before even looking at anything else, likely I'll get distracted or busy and they won't get done. <clears throat> and to be really honest with you, these Facebook lives are not easy. You know, I have to come up with something to say every day and I have to, and I have, and it's so easy to, like anything, like exercise or anything, I guess, it's so easy to, to have it get buried and not get done, right? And I made a commitment to do these things and they're important to me. My follow-ups are critical to my business. So they're like, again, before I even look at anything else, those are done. And so my routine's pretty rigid, you know? but it works for me. I'm up, I'm dressed, my Facebook Live is done, my follow-ups are done. Now I'm ready to do whatever I have to do to get that day, whatever it is. Hi, Pamela, good to see you. So we all have some kind of morning routine, right? Maybe you read or maybe you pray or meditate or, you know, there could be all kinds of things that you do as part of your morning routine. And that's great because there's no right or wrong, right? So um, daily routines, both what we do in the morning and in the evening are important. They help us to accomplish the things that are important to us. So spend some time with yourself and really think about what's your daily routine. Is it getting you what you want? Is it helping you to move forward in your life in a positive way? Think about what your routine is and how it's benefiting you. You know, is it, are you getting certain things done? So, um, so are they, you know, is it, is it like you have certain things you need to get done and, and your routine helps you get those done? Or maybe your routine just helps you to become better or it just, you know, it could be, it, it's just something there to benefit you. It's really personal. It's between you and you, right? <laughs> so, you know, think about it. Think about what it is that you'd like to build into your routine. Maybe journal or make notes about how your routine's working over time and keep track of any adjustments you make because over time you're going to make adjustments. You're going to say, well, this isn't quite working, so I'm going to change this or I'm going to change that. One thing, though, to keep track of in your routine is how long does it take you each day? You know, most people have routines that they do in the morning and a different one at night. And so you, you know, you might think about, is this something that will take more or less time? And maybe that the time is perfect. You know, sometimes it is just what it is, right? But sometimes you might be able to make it a little more efficient. So you're able to spend more time either working or relaxing, whichever it is that you need more of, you know, maybe you could cut back a little bit on the working part and, maybe drink more, you know what I mean? Enjoy your coffee more and spend that time thinking or reading. I mean, whatever it is that, that will benefit you. Um, another thing though to keep track of is how many hours you sleep every night. Believe it or not, this is also part of your routine. So sometimes people like to think that they can get away with five or less hours of sleep a night. And I did when I was working, I had to, but, and you know, it's really unhealthy and this can lead to some serious problems later on because it can cause you to become exhausted easier. It can contribute to things like weight gain, um, can make it so your mind isn't so clear, you know, so, so I would definitely try to make sure that you develop enough sleep into your, enough sleep time into your routine, but make minor adjustments and see if that helps you in your day, you know? <laughs> you can make little adjustments, like maybe eat breakfast before you brush your teeth or maybe um, shower in the evening instead of the morning, right? I mean, there's no right or wrong way. Sometimes you'll find that you don't like it as much as you did your old routine and you'll go back to your old routine. Or there's a chance maybe you might discover that you like the new way better and it gives you more time elsewhere. The key to a good daily routine is efficiency and consistency, hence the word daily, <laughs> daily routine, right? So if your daily routine isn't benefiting you, change it. You do have that option. So um, let me see. I got some notes. Sue Ann says, I'm sorry I haven't been on your lives and, and always watching on the replay, but I thank you so much and I appreciate you doing the lives. Thank you, Sue Ann. That means so much to me. Sometimes, sometimes you know, you never know, but I really appreciate you saying that. I said, and Pamela says, I certainly appreciate the time and what you have to say. And um, lounging too much, my Fitbit has helped me so much in learning to sleep. Yeah, totally true. I agree with that. So, hey, um, 
I'd love to hear from everybody. I'd love to hear from you. So do you have morning rituals that you feel you that have helped you to become more of a successful person, either personally or in your business or your job? What routines are you going to be implementing today? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So please get below. Thank you, Pamela and Sue Ann, for being live with me today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.